Hello, it's day 21. We made it, 21 days. So thankful for everybody that has fasted with us for the last three weeks. I pray that this has been a blessing in your life and I hope that you know that God has honored your sacrifice and, and uh, I just wanna thank you for believing uh, with Lighthouse Assembly and with all of us and corporately uh, just expecting God to do great things in 2014. One of the things that we fasted for and really was kind of our mindset when we started three weeks ago was that we were believing for greater things for God to do in our own personal life, in our own families, but ultimately in our church and in our community. And in John chapter 14, Jesus gives us his promise that if we would remain in him and we would truly believe in him and believe who he is, that greater things we would do in our ministry and in our lifetime. And I believe that God's wanting to do greater things in you. I believe God's wanting to do greater things in our church and in our city and in our nation. And so I pray that you would believe with me after this fast that God's going to do great things in 2014. But in order for us to do that, we've got to be willing to step out of the shadows and step out of uh, the background and be willing to stand and be bold for what we believe and for who we are and especially for what God's called us to do. And in order for us to do that, we got to be willing to step outside of our comfort zone and be willing to, to get in around the sin and around the people that are hurting. And it's easy for us to just want to blend in and for no one to see us and, and hopefully everything will just be, uh, you know, all right and we'll just make it through. But we got to be willing to do our part. And that takes us getting out of the shadows and get out of the background and not blending in anymore and to truly be the light in a dark world. He's very clear that we're to be in this world but not of this world. And so in order for you and I to see greater things take place in our life and greater things take place in our families and in our ministry, we got to be willing to get outside of our comfort zone and not just lay back and just want to blend in with everybody else. But we got to truly stand out as a light of the world, as the scripture says, as like a city set on a hill so that everyone can see and know that there is something different. There is a different option that there, more importantly, that there's one option. There's one way to heaven. There's one way to experience victory. There's one way to experience peace. And so I encourage you in 2014 to believe God for greater things, but more importantly, to get out there and to do everything that you can do for God. Don't worry about uh, who's watching and, and what might happen or might not happen. You're going to make it. Great things are coming your way. Greater things are you going to do in 2014 than you ever have in your life. I believe that with all my heart. Thank you again for fasting with us for 21 days, 2014, greater things. God bless you, and I'll see you next year.